Yo, what is up guys? Back here with another video. And today I've got something that I think everybody who has a sneaker collection or really takes care of their sneakers should own. And it was something that I remember first started like several years ago and they became super hot. And so I've got a bunch of them here in this box in front of you beat up. And I actually got these from eBay and I'll leave a link in the description to the exact ones that I got. Uh, because I wasn't going to pay the price for the Ikea shoe trees. Uh, like the Os Osmorg or something like that ones that came out. And I think those are like $10 to $12 uh, just for like a single pair of them. In comparison, just so you guys know, I got everything in this box for $13 and change with free shipping. So let's just pour these all out. All right, and so as you guys can now see, I've got 10 pairs of the spring loaded shoe trees. And so you guys might recognize this. You guys see this probably on your Instagram feeds or things like that. They look really nice uh, when you're taking pictures of your shoes too, uh, but they also do a great job of keeping the shape when you're not wearing your shoes and you're sitting in um, containers or these drop front shoe boxes that a lot of people have. So I think these things go hand in hand, like drop front shoe boxes and shoe trees, like you gotta have both. Uh, but let's get one of these out here. Like I said, I got 10 pairs of these. They're all black with the stainless st uh, steel spring mechanism. Oh, I got 10 of these for about less than 14 bucks, 13 and change. I will say, uh, online, the, f the front of this looked kind of small and I was like, oh, maybe I'll have to fill some extra space with like the paper that stuffing that comes uh, in your shoes. But this is starting to look a lot better than I thought. So best way to show this, let's move it this way, is to grab a pair of shoes and see how they work. So let's just grab a pair of Yeezys, not because they're hyped, but mainly just because a lot of you have Yeezys and that'd be a good way to show uh, how they fit and things like that. So, got a pair of Yeezys here. And so there is a right and left. As you guys can tell, they're not both exactly the same. So if you guys can tell, this is the right. And this is the, actually, now that I look at it. Psych! There's a slight difference. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not tripping. There is a slight difference, but so this is the left shoe. So it should just be as easy as sliding in. Right now I have nothing in these shoes, obviously. And then I've never done this before, but you take the spring part and you just, just like that. So now, as you can see, there's shape and form to the shoe, although it's not completely full in the toe box and it probably won't be for most shoes just because these aren't specifically designed for each kind of shoe. But there's a lot more structure and form. You can see it helps stretch, stretch out this part as well. And because of the spring part, what I really like, because you might see traditional uh, shoe trees, like the ones, for example, that might come in like a rejuvenator cleaning kit that have a little mechanism they lay flat on the bottom of the shoe. What's nice about this is not only does this help fit multiple sizes and lengths, but because it kind of comes up like this, it does give the tongue area some support as well. So there's this one here with the shoe tree versus without the shoe tree and as you can tell this one boom and this one's actually got some form to it so we'll do that again pop them in here goes in all the way down and then you just fold this around towards the back and they sit like this and that way i actually think they look a lot better regardless of the fact uh, but one thing I did want to try out when I got these was I wanted to see how it would feel if I put the shoe trees in a pair of shoes, but also filled some of that dead space with some of the paper that comes with the shoes. All right, so here's a pair of Reebok Classic Leathers. Um, I actually haven't done a video on these just because I got these before I started making videos again, but right now I just have the paper that came in with it, but I want to see if 
I maybe do both the paper and the shoe tree if that will uh, give it some extra like support to the shoe when I'm not wearing it. So we'll get another one open here. These are pretty nice. Like they come well packaged in the plastic as you saw and they come with like a little piece here that you take them both apart from. So like, I know sometimes stuff on eBay is like straight from China and can be kind of cheap, but like for just over a dollar a pair, uh, for them and getting 10 of them, like this was definitely seems like it was worth it. Um, no matter if they last super long or not, but they do feel very sturdy and very heavy duty. So I was wanted to see if I did something like this, if it would help even more. So see, push that all the way in, pull it back. Oh, wow. That actually worked kind of nice. Wow. So in this one, I've got the shoe trees plus the paper. And this one is just the paper. And see that versus that. Look at that. Pretty big difference there. And then I guess another comparison just to make it all correct is to do one with just the shoe tree versus one with the shoe tree plus paper so here's the one with the shoe tree only and you can see there's a little bit of dead space here right and leather shoes like this these are going to be super good for it just because it's going to help keep that shape a little little more because leather shoes do stretch a little bit and then here's one with paper plus shoe tree you can see there's still a tiny tiny bit of dead space it's never going to be perfect but definitely a lot less feels a lot less than the other one so yeah guys that's it for the video just wanted to show you guys uh shoe trees tell you where you guys can get them um like i said i bought these off ebay 10 pack black with the heavy duty stainless steel uh, and the round nubs at the end which is super nice so they don't hurt your shoes at all um for 13 dollars and change so if you do the math, that works out to about a dollar and change per pair. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to where you guys can grab these. Uh, but I think it's a super essential thing for your sneaker collection. Keep your sneakers fresh, keep them formed and fitted. Um, and if you're going as far as to buy drop front shoe boxes like these, why not invest another dollar per pair to go get yourself some shoe trees? and get your shoes fitted with those. And I'm sure if you also have a bigger collection, um, I'm sure if you use the link in the description, I'll try to maybe find another link where if you buy maybe 20 pairs, it's a little bit cheaper and stuff like that. Uh, but with someone with a slightly smaller collection, I only need a 10 for now. Uh, but for now, Premier Kicks, signing off.